You must fill in the oval and spell Senator Murkowski's name correctly. The Senate race in Alaska may come down to how well they spell. Murkowski, M-U-R-K-O-W-S-K-I. Awesome. As her state senior senator, Lisa Murkowski never thought she'd be waging a long shot write-in campaign. They're going to have to fill in that oval. They're going to have to write that name and I want you to get it right. This week, Murkowski got a big boost when the Alaska Supreme Court ruled that voters can see a list of approved write-in candidates before they cast their ballots. I'm Joe Miller, the true conservative choice for the U.S. Senate in Alaska. Meanwhile, Joe Miller's momentum is waning. Documents released Tuesday show that when he was a government lawyer, he used government computers for political purposes. Miller later admitted to lying about it. Hello, Alaska! So he brought out his biggest weapon to fight back. Joe Miller is ready to fight for us in Washington, D.C. Yet Democrats now think Scott McAdams could pull off an upset, so the party is pouring in money. And my wife Romy told me I better start wearing a tie so I can look senatorial. For Murkowski to win, she needs not only Republicans, but also independents and Democrats. But history is not on Murkowski's side. No write-in candidate has ever won a statewide race here in Alaska. And the last person to do it for the U.S. Senate was Strom Thurmond in 1954. Fellow Alaskans. Yet Joe Miller has worried many in Alaska with his calls for a dramatically smaller federal government. One third of all jobs in the state are tied to the federal government, and for every dollar the state sends in in taxes, it gets $1.83 back in federal funds. Let's go to Mike. Mike Even this conservative talk radio show host isn't sure about Miller's message. What is Alaska without the money coming out of the federal government? We're um, a poor stepchild of the rest of the country. And in this race, Alaskans not only need to get out and vote. Do you know how to spell Murkowski? M-U-R-K-O-W. Some will also need to get out their pens. S-K-I. -S -K -I. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Anchorage, Alaska.